Hi friends, welcome to KPB Coding Hub. In the last video, we covered third pattern, how we can able to write a Python program to display this pattern, we covered very clearly. Now, in today's session, we are going to see the pattern number four. So what is this pattern? It is the same like this particular pattern. It is same like this particular pattern, but I don't want these stars in the diagonal position. I don't want these stars in the diagonal position. I want these stars in the opposite diagonal. Okay, I want these stars in the opposite diagonal. Like this, I want. Okay, I want these stars to be displayed in opposite diagonal. Like this, I want. This is nothing but my requirement. Previously, we have seen the program to print the elements in the main diagonal. Okay, let us let us execute that program. So here, if you see py space test.py, we got these particular stars in the diagonal, in the diagonal elements we got. Means what? Here, the value of, in this location, the value of i is, uh, the, the value of j is 1, and here the value of j is 2, and here the value of j is 3, like this we have, and here i is equal to 1, i is equal to 2, i is equal to 3. Have you observed? If you want to get this particular star here, the value of i and j should be equal. If you want to get a star here, the value of i and j should be equal. If you want to get a star here, the value of i and j should be equal. That's why we have written like i is double equal to j in that case. But now that is not the case. So what is the requirement here? We need to print a star here, here in this position. And I need to print the star in this position. I need to print the star in this position. Like that I have to take. Means what? I is equal to 1. But J is not 1. So this J value will become 4. So 5, 6, 7. So 8, 9, 10. So when have you observed? When I is equal to 1. Your J value should become 10. And when I is equal to 2. In the second row. Where I need to display star the j value is 9. Like this we have to take. How to write this code? Since it is a 10 by 10, 10 by 10, I am going to take, okay, I am going to take, sir, 10 minus i should be equal to j. Is it correct? So 10 minus i, okay, otherwise instead of 10, we will take 9. Um, yeah, 9 minus i, should be equal to j. Is it correct? So when i is equal to 1, 9 minus i, that means 8, is equal to j value. j value is nothing but, so initially, if j value here, if it is equal to 10, oh, it is not satisfied. So we should not take 9. We have to take next element, that is 11. When i is equal to 1, 11 minus 1 should be equal to j. 11 minus 1 is what? 10. 10 should be equal to the j value is a 10 means there we are going to get one star this one when i is equal to 2 and j value will become which value 9 how you can able to identify so 11 minus 2 should be equal to which position sir this one is ninth position right like this i am taking sir 11 minus 2 is what so 10 minus 11 minus 1 is a 10 11 minus 2 is a 9 so both are satisfied. That means here we are going to get a star. So the logic for that, if you want to get in the opposite diagonal, 11 minus i is equal to j, where 11 is nothing but number of, uh, so number of rows. So 11 means what? According to Python, 11 means n minus 1. That is nothing but 11 minus 1, it will become 10. Let's apply this and check really is it working. So we should not take i is equal to j. If you are removing i is equal to j, then we are going to get an empty box like this. Now in the opposite diagonal, I want to print. Means what? You need to take 11 minus, 11 minus i should be equal to j. So let us run this code really in the diagonal elements, we are going to get the values. In the opposite diagonal, you can see we are getting stars. In the opposite diagonal, we are getting stars. This is the way 
how we can able to write python program to display stars in the opposite diagonal i think you people got very clear clarity about this program okay thank you